So we're just about to head off on our big trip up to Darwin. Should be good fun, Todge. Excited about it? That'll be alright. What's oh, going to be your most <laughs> exciting thing about it? Just... <laughs> Every time you put the camera away, I'll be excited. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the camera. Love it. All right. Have fun. Why can't it see me? It just loves you. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it? Oh, it loves me now. I'm five minutes away. <laughs> Then he took our room, room, room. Touch is the only one that knows the way the whole ship. Here we are, we have the four bunks. I don't know where to put them up for you. How'd you go, Todd? At the toilet? Yeah, got yeah. it all done? Yeah, mate, yeah, didn't have to sit down, so that was all good. <laughs> We've just filled up. It's the greatest name for a. And we've got Mars. Hello, Mars.
flash half of the room, not with the not so flash half. Yeah, well, I only had one bed, you had two. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so it's a big drive today, 970 k's or something. So 360 odd to Port Augusta. Then we'll change drivers and Todd will have a go. And then, um, yeah, then we're out in the wild, open, outback type carry on. This boat's about to pass with the trailer, why well, wouldn't you? Obviously in a hurry to do some concreting. Yeah, alright, so yeah, we'll carry on and uh, talk to you later. Anyway, we're staying at the Mud Hut in Kubapiti. This is our room. There's Moss. Moss uh, is loving it there. Ben said, let's get Peter. I said, let's get a medium. He said, no, no, no. Let's get the small. <laughs> wow, <Wow-wee. laughs> Small one. How big is it? It's massive. Moss is going to love it. Hello. Right, uh, camera's off time. Oh, that's the side off, is it? <laughs> Ben's got his camera little grin, the camera grin <laughs> in all the ads. It's about 400 degrees. Yeah, right, day three. I won't be drinking that till we get to day. <laughs> <laughs> day three, we made it to Cooper Petty from Strathalbyn yesterday, which was a huge drive, 988 kilometres, I think it was, in the end. But, um, yeah, it was sensational. We got through it pretty well, even on time, I think. I don't think we had any hassles. Did we have a top? No, we wanted to get there sort of around 6, didn't we? And I think we got there a little bit earlier than that. Does that work? Yeah, yeah, because that concreter bloke, he was in a hurry, wasn't he? Concrete son. Yeah. William the concreter. Remember, remember him? I saw a concreter. Yeah, so today we're off to El Dunda Roadhouse, which is the turn off to Ayers Rock. It's like 200 k's to Ayers Rock, Old and Road. it's yeah, Old Road, and it's 200 k's to Alice from that sort of pivot place there. But I'll be into last time I went there, there was a thing called Cluck Norris. It was a massive rooster, and it had emus and um, camels and all sorts there. So hopefully that they they're still there. I'm hoping Cluck Norris is there because he was a fan favourite, the biggest rooster I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah, unreal. It's like four times bigger than a normal size rooster. That's how big it is. You sound impressed. You don't get the name Cluck Norris for nothing. Huge cocks don't impress me. Come on, Josh. Yeah. Anyway, 
so yeah, so we'll stay there. So it's only a short drive today, probably five or six hours. And then uh, the next day we're off to Devil's Marbles. Good fun, Todd, your boy. Right on. Signing out? Where are we going? Sign out? What are we doing? Did you want to sign out? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so with our day yesterday, it was very interesting. We had a few stories and carry-ons. But you know, on our trip from Strathalba to Cooper Petty. And um, to tell us the story about the dogs, Todge. Not much of a story, really. It is. It is for the viewers. The viewers out there. I love them. They're intrigued now. And now I've mentioned them and, they wa and then they're watching it. It is because the, the, it is because of the fact that I saw the footage later. So I went for a drive when Owen was setting up his gear in the road, having a look around Cooper Bay. And I got to a bit of a dead end road, went to do a U turn. These dogs came running out. There was about 27 of them. That would make it sound like a good story. No, there was two. And they were just like... There was 25 you couldn't see. Yeah. They were just barking at the front wheel, like getting under, getting under the car and stuff. And I was trying to go forward, so I had to drive slowly for about, what, a kilometre? Maybe half a kilometre. Until they uh, pissed off. Yeah, so then... Because I still have the camera in the car, or the one that you we're looking at now, and because um, we unpacked them, and because I pressed record as we went into Cooper I forgot to press stop and left it as we were unpacking, and then Ben went for that drive. So I was looking through the footage last night, just uploading it all to my computer. I said, oh, the, the camera was on when Ben went for this drive, so I fast forward it to the bit. And you can see the two dogs come out and the alarms are going off in the front of the car because of, you know, all the sensors and stuff. And it was like, it was amazing. Ben, yeah, like he said, drove for about a K and then started to speed up and speed up. And they were still barking, you can still hear a bark and the sensors were still going on. It must have been right at the front of the car, lucky he didn't run them over. Hmm. But, uh, I got my phone out and took a Snapchat and sent it to the family. <laughs> of this dog that was right there at the wheel, couldn't see the one on this side obviously, but yeah. Yeah, it was funny because Ben could only see the black dog, but on the video footage, um, the, the, the other dogs on the other side. So while I'm telling the story now, as we speak, I put the footage up in the top right corner or whatever, so it makes sense what we're telling the story. Oh. So that'll be pretty cool. But, yeah, yes, yeah. What about the other bit? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man with a Sandwiches, Muzzy, 
Maybe it's having something to eat. Whatever your mate has been. Grab a sandwich on that, yeah, chicken and coals. Is that mine? Yeah. This one? Just carefully pull that plastic bag over. Millions of them. So we stopped at this little ga gathering thing, Todge, and um, rest area we couldn't find. Had a nice little chicken sandwich, and there's massive cockies over there. Cock fest. Trust <laughs> <laughs> you to stop at a cockfest. <laughs> You love it. But uh, yeah, we're having fun. We're, this is probably our last stop before we get to Eldunda. Oh no, we'll stop at the border. the Northern Territory South Australia border. Welcome to the Northern Territory. Clacky boy Norris is here. I remember him being a lot bigger than that. Quite nice. So on the menu, I ended up ordering the steak, medium rare, mushroom sauce, and Ben, who everyone knows Ben, which obviously he's a crowd favorite. Um, he ordered the um, steak as well, medium rare, but pepper sauce, he loves the pepper. So the food has arrived. So we've got a beautiful steak here on a bit of veg. We've got the pepper sauce. And we've got a bit of paprika on the outside of the plate, which is a bit old-fashioned. Thoughts on presentation, um, Ben? Yeah, look, it's all right. They've gone a little bit of effort with the, um, with the fried pita bread. Oh, what's it called? It's got a name. Gosh. And for mine, mine's arrived, mine's exactly the same. We've ordered the exact same, except for mine is pepper sauce. Still got the paprika, ah, mushroom sauce, sorry. See, good thing Ben was here. I imagine if you weren't here, oh, I'd be just saying stuff. But the paprika around the outside is a little bit old fashioned, but we are in the outback. Rightio, here we're off this morning. It's half past nine in the morning, we just left El Dunder. Uh, heading to Devil's Marbles, but we'll go through Alice Springs into action. Away, that should be good. We uh, yesterday we arrived at El Dunder from where? Seven Peter, there we go. And um, you've been in the territory now. For, that's our first night in the territory. I'm lucky I'm paying attention. Yeah. And um, what was the coffee? I think it was good. Speaking of coffees. We, get, we normally get up and going before we're supposed to be kicked out and then we've got a half hour wait for coffee so that's always, that's always good fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we saw a few animals yesterday, we saw some camels and we saw some uh, emus, which people, emus. emus which people think are ostriches. ostriches. Yeah, 
Norris Jr.